It's Wednesday, January 3rd, 2023. Uh, so happy to be here. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today. We'll talk about the markets. I want to thank everybody for the comments yesterday on yesterday's video. A uh, few aches and pains today. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, a lot of people said, hey, it's very common now. I was talking to Aaron today. Um, and and it, it's it's very common now for people to, to have multiple hit and runs on their record. And a lot of people just said it is what it is. And, you know, just get used to it. This is common. And they're right. And so, you, you know, we're just seeing people who have no respect for people's property or their lives or the law. And that's how they, that, that's how they live day to day. They don't care. And fortunately, uh, everybody here is going to be okay. Uh, the car will be fixed. That's replaceable. But uh, as a lot of people said, it is what it is. And, and so I, I'm just going to scratch it up to it is what it is, move on. Uh, there's nothing um, that we can do at this point, but move on. So it is what it is. And it's sad that we're in a world that we just have to get used to this uh, criminality that people can just destroy your stuff or really could have really, really hurt some people, not just us, but the cars around us. So uh, thanks for all, all, all your comments. I'm moving on. It is what it is. And that's it. Now getting into uh, the video today, let's talk about the markets. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Fed officials in December saw rate cuts likely, but path highly uncertain minutes show. Uh, today, Dow Jones down nearly 300 points, NASDAQ down about 180 points. The 10 year bond yield touched 4% today. We haven't seen that in a little while. Very, very interesting to see bond yields, the 10 year bond yield creeping back up and touching 4%. It did pull back. But I think that the markets um, might be beginning, they might be realizing or beginning to realize that this, this dream of six rate cuts in 2024 might not happen, that maybe it's going to be two or three, not six. And I don't know uh, who started this premonition of six rate cuts, but somehow the markets uh, priced this in and kept believing that there were going to be six rate cuts uh, as early as March. Yes, I do believe there will be some rate cuts uh, this year. I don't believe it's going to be six. And I think the markets are beginning to uh, come to the realization that it is not going to be six. Uh, the minutes, according to this article, noted an unusually elevated degree of uncertainty. Rate cuts uh, likely in 2024. I don't think anybody would argue that. But what when that occurs in 2024, nobody knows. And what's going to happen when they do begin to cut rates, whether they cut rates two or three times? I, I think it's going to reignite inflation. I think it's going to be very bullish for gold, very bullish for silver. Uh, I, I do believe that inflation is not going away anytime soon. In fact, I think that it will reignite uh, with these rate cuts. I don't know how we're going to get back to 2% inflation by cutting rates, but uh, I'll leave it to the professionals. Um, so far, they've... they've uh, done a pretty bad job of running the U.S. economy. Uh, as today, we break $34 trillion in debt. And uh, most of the majority of this country now is working paycheck to paycheck. Um, I want to note today there was uh, an attack in Iran. 103 people lost their lives, 141 wounded, uh, two bombs exploded. Nobody taking responsibility for this yet. Uh, the world is no doubt becoming a very, very dangerous place without a doubt. And so, you know, physically, you, you, you've got to really be uh, understanding uh, your environment, you, uh, exercising situational awareness, and really being careful out there because there are so many people now, criminals, walking the streets of America uh, because uh, of these very relaxed laws. Uh, there's no room now in the prison system to keep people. Uh, we're just being over inundated uh, with crime now and criminals. You got to be really, really careful. And we're going to see more problems as people suffer financially and it becomes more of a struggle to feed their families. People who are not criminals may begin to do criminal things just to feed their families. Um, here's an article today on CNBC, Xerox to cut 15% 15 of its workforce. Happy 2024, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you work at Xerox. Isn't this lovely news? Uh, this is going to be more than 3,000 employees who are going to be losing their job. Uh, it says here, uh, Xerox is implementing a new organizational structure. So that means they are cutting the fat and 
uh, more than 3,000 people are about ready to lose their job. And who knows, by this spring or this summer, it could be another 3,000. So, you know, as we discussed in 2023, this will be the year of massive job losses. And here we go. Uh, Xerox dropping 15% of their employees. Job openings uh, nudge lower in November down to 1.4 per available worker. Uh, employment listings uh, nudge lower to 8.79 million, 1.4 jobs for every worker. Um, now I have to ask this question because a lot of you commented last year saying that you applied for multiple jobs, four, five, six, seven jobs, nobody ever called you back. How many of this 8.79 million jobs are even real? How many of them are part-time? How many of them are low wage? So it's great and wonderful that there's jobs out there, but what kind of jobs are they? Are they real quality jobs? And I would say that probably a majority, probably 75% of these jobs are not quality jobs. They're leisure hospitality, they're medical assistance, uh, retail, low wage, low paying, part-time jobs. Uh, here's a sad one today. Los Angeles Dessert Shop announced a sudden closure of locations, cites cost of business in California. Very, very sad article here. Uh, the, the bakery, the Sweet Lady Dessert Shop, just announced the closure of its six locations uh, around or in Los Angeles. They've been in business for 35 years. And now they're closing. Uh, they said sales are not enough to keep doing business in California uh, or allowing us to service, uh, service our lease uh, or obligations and pay our treasured employees. This is really, really sad. I mean, think about this. Six locations, a landmark, been around for 35 years in the city of Los Angeles, and they're closing. How many more people will lose their jobs uh, between six of these bakeries? Quite a few. Um, and it's really, really sad to watch this because we are throwing money all over the world, but we cannot afford to, to spend money uh, and invest in our small businesses. You know, the people, the small businesses that need the help right now. And what do we do? We don't help. We send the money elsewhere. This is where it needs to be going. We need to be helping small business owners. We need, this country needs to be um, implementing some sort of plans uh, in order to help small businesses open and prosper and expand and hire more people. This is the backbone of America and the backbone of America is being broken. Chick-fil-A prices surge in recent years, report says this on Fox Business. Chick-fil-A prices are up 21% in two years, and yet we're going to be told that there's no inflation. Is your paycheck going up 21% in two years? Uh, more than likely, it is not. But food costs at Chick-fil-A, it is. It is going up uh, 21%. The grocery store double digits. Uh, I still don't see much relief out there. Uh, I don't know if, if you're seeing any relief. I just see prices continuing to go up, but they're just going up slower. Uh, I've seen some prices come down, but we're uh, the prices that have come down, like let, let's say, for example, gasoline, paying $4.59 for regular here in California. Well, a few years ago, we were paying $2.89. Yes, uh, uh, a couple years ago, we were paying you know, $6.50, $7. Oh, it's nice it's come down, but it hasn't come down to what it was a few years ago, where it was under $3. So we're still paying a lot more than we were. And now everything that's happening in the Middle East, uh, this event that took place uh, today with the bombing, um, things uh, obviously escalating across the Middle East, uh, this is going to continue to put pressure on oil prices, and we saw oil prices up about around 4% today. And so how quickly things can explode and go much higher. Here, here's, here's, uh, this is from Yahoo Finance right here. Oil jumps 3.5% uh, on supply disruptions, uh, worries as tensions rise in Middle East. If things continue to escalate over there, you could see oil uh, really start pushing up. And let's not forget, they were able in this country to push oil prices down and gas prices down because we were exhausting our strategic petroleum reserves in order to do it. U.S. national debt tops $34 trillion for first time in history. Happy 
New Year, happy 2024, ladies and gentlemen. It's only the first week of 2024, and look at what's going on. War is escalating, uh, bombing in Iran. Uh, multiple incidents incidences have occurred now in New York that nobody's talking about. Uh, U.S. national debt topping $34 trillion. It is now official. Uh, and many people think that this is no big deal. But, you know, we continue to fund this system by printing money and borrowing money and destroying the purchasing power of the average American, and we're destroying the average American's standard of living by doing this. And they can tell us how great everything is, shut the printing presses off, stop borrowing money, and let's see how great and how balanced the budget is. There is no way they can balance this budget. They can't even balance the budget um, by printing all this money. Uh, the budget is so out of control. Uh, think about, <laughs> you know, think about the money that they are printing and borrowing. How are you ever going to balance a budget by doing this? It is absolutely, the spending is so out of control. And I hope all of you are, are really getting extremely responsible with your spending right now, buying things that you really need, not just want. And look, if you have the money and you have the means, God bless you, you've been blessed. You're in that position to, to where you, you can enjoy things. But for the people out here who are paycheck to paycheck, You've got to be so careful right now because we are heading into very, very ominous times. Ominous times are ahead uh, uh, for this country starting right now. And so, you know, maybe this isn't the time to buy a new car or truck. Maybe this is the time to just sit back and, and just wait a little bit and exercise some patient, patience with any large purchases. Um, you know, people are still tempted by the credit cards. You have nearly 600 million credit cards floating around in the back pockets of Americans in this country. And it's so, so tempting for people to spend money they don't have. So be very, very careful with the temptation. But, you know, just talking about the ominous things that are coming to America. One thing I, I was thinking about a couple days ago is what if the internet went down? People have written me this too. What, what, what would happen if the internet went down? Uh, most everything that we depend on would cease to work. It would not work. Um, from food supplies to your clean water uh, to communications to money. I mean, think about the financial system, the banking system, the ATMs, all of that. If the internet went down, everything goes down. Uh, com again, communication, transportation of food and supplies goes down. It all goes down. It would be very, very hard to, to function at this point as a country if uh, the internet were to go down. And think about our enemies, think about the advanced weaponry uh, uh, technology that is out there that every day uh, they are trying to hack into uh, water filtration systems, hospitals, uh, uh, military, uh, banks, you name it. I, I mean, every day we're hearing more and more stories about these hacks. And at some point, something very, very big is going to happen. I think, you know, just common sense would tell you that, um, you know, we can sit here and say, oh, that's negativity, that's doom and gloom. It's just common sense. It's just reality. The technology is here. It's happening every day. Multiple water treatment plants in this country have already been, been attacked. And luckily, uh, we were able to stop it. But at some point, what if something happens that we cannot stop, that it's just, it, it's too far advanced and we, can no, we can't reverse it? You know, multiple treatment, water treatment centers, food centers, uh, a military base, a uh, big bank. I mean, this would be catastrophic uh, for this country. So, you know, again, put the food and water away. Make sure you have security. You know, make sure you're getting in shape and all that good stuff because things are coming without a doubt. But uh, think about what you could do. What would you rely on if the Internet went down? You rely on your human body. You rely on your brains, you rely on your training, you rely on your tools. That's all you have. That's it. So you got to rely on you. So make sure that you're getting this in better shape. Uh, make sure that you're adding a skill set. Make sure that you're, you're, you're using your brain and you're absorbing as much knowledge as possible and be walking close to God most of all. You know, people who haven't been exercising their brains and their bodies, they're going to be in very, very big trouble when this day comes. You know, to sit here and say that we can never have a massive catastrophic event take place 
uh, with our communications and internet, that is, I mean, you are, you are very gullible. You are very, very um, misinformed to think that it can't happen now. The advanced technology out there and, and the cyber warfare that is taking place, it isn't a matter of, of, of if, it's a matter of when, ladies and gentlemen. So don't make any excuses now at this point. Don't, this is, it, we're in 2024. You know, it, it is the year right now, no more excuses. It's time to train, it's time to add to the skill sets, it's, it's time to absorb as much knowledge, it's time to be praying to God, it is time. We are here. And I don't know about you, but if you're watching, you know, the news, you're reading stuff, it is, you're beginning to hear, it is becoming more and more common that people are coming out, politicians, people in, in three-letter agencies are coming out and they're telling you that big events, something big is coming or multiple things are coming. So they know something and you know something too, because you can, you can feel it. We're, we're on the cusp of something really, really big uh, taking place here, right here in America. Uh, and it's going to impact the entire world. And it's not going to just happen here. It's going to happen uh, in other places across the globe. So be preparing the best that you can. Of course, there are people out there that don't care about $34 trillion in debt. They don't care that people are working paycheck to paycheck. They don't care about $200 trillion in unfunded liabilities. They don't care about you know 44 million people on food stamps. They don't care that people are losing their businesses. They don't care about the layoffs that we have witnessed and the massive amount of layoffs that are coming. They don't care about the crime. They don't care. That's good for them. At some point, they're going to care, but unfortunately, it will be too late for them. Make sure that you, that you, take, that you take all this very, very seriously. Make sure that you care about what's happening. Because if you do, you're obviously very, very concerned. And if you're concerned, you're going to take action for you and your family. I'm gonna leave it there today. God bless every one of you. Thank you for the prayers, the support. Uh, 2024 is going to be uh, a very, uh, a very critical year for this economy and for this country. And the best advice I can give to anybody out there right now is be thinking outside of the box, make yourself better, start putting some money away, put some metals away, put some food and water away, keep doing what you've been doing over the last two or three or four or five years, because at some point, when everything shuts down, all you have is you and what you can get to. Have a good day. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. I look forward to speaking to all of you very, very soon.